Welcome to Celebrating Act Two, where John and I just talk about stuff. <laughs> important stuff, however, very important stuff. Art, you look great. Thank you. You it's now, fun. I know, I know you've lost some weight. I don't know how much, but I know you've been uh, actively uh, taking care of your weight as well as your health. And for many years, and I assume you were something before vegan. You did lots of diets and stuff. But you've been a vegan for many years. Is that changing? Is that a new program you're on? So uh, the truth of the matter is that I was never on too many diets, actually. Uh, I mean, I probably, no, well, seriously, uh, maybe 15 years ago, I went to Weight Watchers once and lost the weight and gained it back. And like many of those diets, most people get success for a period of time and they fail. But about, uh, I'd say, a dozen years ago or so, I adopted a vegan uh, diet uh, pretty much only for health reasons. I had read a book called The China Study, uh, and we're not going to go into detail to a lot of those things, but vegan basically is removing uh, dairy and meat and animal products. Uh, and the, the health benefit to that is all of the things that are in uh, uh, animals, whether it be what the fish get from the sea, mercury and all that kind of stuff, or the antibiotics, and everything they feed to animals. And so in any event, um, uh, I adopted that for health reasons, but it's not necessarily one that I've, I, and I lost weight on that and maintained that um, for many years. But vegan is not necessarily a diet where you lose weight. It's, I did it for health reasons. If you're going to lose and maintain that lost weight, then people who have adopted a full plant-based diet, unprocessed, uh, not like having a, a cereal that may be all plant-based, but it's got sugar and all sorts of other things thrown in there and processed flour and that pulls okay. the nutrients out. So anyway, I have, I have now sort of transitioned to a whole plant-based diet, which the biggest change for me is that it eliminates all sorts of things like anything that has oil in it. Uh, because oil is basically liquid fat, and they there are all sorts of uh, things. I've known over the years that a tablespoon of, let's say, olive oil, which is theoretically the healthy oil, okay, still has more fat than uh, maybe uh, five hamburgers. Uh, so and, what do you what do you do if if you want to have a salad? You, do, you just don't have dressing. Uh, actually, there are so many interesting things you can do with it. Uh, for me, my go to is using balsamic vinegar. Okay. And uh, that gives me enough of the flavor taste. But there are all sorts of things as spices. I've started using cumin and turmeric, uh, which also, by the way, helps with other issues. They have healthful uh, effects right. as well. But in any event, um, uh, there's not a lack of anything. And, and since I already have uh, added uh, beans and uh, whether they got bonzo beans or uh, lentils and all sorts of other things. It's all sorts of flavors that that I get anyway. So it yeah. really, it's a transition that has worked out very well for me. It's maybe not for everybody because you got to get there. It's like uh, uh, twenty five years or thirty years ago, I quit smoking. You know, and that's that's a tough thing to do. Uh, and bet. a lot of people, and I failed many times trying that. And I guess I just had to be ready for the transition. But the biggest difference to me is that uh, I was having trouble uh, going up and down stairs and you know, pains of many, virtually in the last month, all of that's been gone and I've, I've lost another 15 pounds. Wow. Uh, which is what you were noticing. Yes. Uh, and, but it seems that unlike other times, it's staying off and I continue to lose a couple of pounds here, a couple of pounds there. And uh, I would say that by the end of the summer, if I keep going at this rate, it'll be, I'll be reaching a weight that I haven't been in 50 years. And wow. it's just, and it's not, for me, it's not hard. So uh, now I have to ask: Is do you suppose um, that it if this is working just because it happens to work with your body? In other words, somebody else, the vegan diet might have worked for them, but it didn't. Might have helped you, but it didn't do what this is doing. No, I'll, I'll tell you why. Uh, the vegan lifestyle is more uh, uh, a ethical. That, I mean, I did it for health reasons because there are plenty of health benefits to it. Okay, but most people who become vegan, it's an ethical, and I, I applaud them for that. I don't mind that 
uh, there are less animals being uh, uh, farmed uh, for uh, eating purposes. Uh, but it's, this is actually closer to what people up until the last century, when the marketing of uh, you know, it became available that everybody could have meat all the time. Uh, yeah. In the 1800s, that wasn't true. Basically, the people who had all the diseases were the rich people who could afford meat and uh, uh, other products, because uh, many people who just subsisted on uh, potatoes and other things in the, you know, that they could grow uh, didn't have the, the rich person's uh, diseases. So okay, I, now, it, it really you... has little to do with that because, quite frankly, vegan and Oreo and Cheetos are vegan. Go look on the Peter website. So uh, that's you mean they're thing. technically technically they are, vegan. They are vegan. vegan. No, not technically. They are vegan, but, but they're all processed, uh, plant-based uh, products. Okay, so what, now, long before you became a vegan, you were a vegetarian. You, yeah. you, you went through a process. What, what, vegetarian is just no meat, am I correct? No. Vegan well, is more restrictive? Well, there are, vegetarians have, there are people who are vegetarians, but they eat, I forget what the, the variation names are, but they eat eggs, or other vegetarians who eat cheese, other vegetarians who eat uh, uh, fish, uh, I call them episcopalians. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so people have their variations of it. And so, yeah. when I was when I was a vegan, I was pretty much a vegetarian, but I yeah. was, I, I, but I had plenty of uh, fat-free uh, dressings. But those are loaded with oil and things like yeah. that. And I had done, been doing a lot of reading on it. Uh, I will show you one thing: the latest book that I read that actually nailed it for me it was this called the starch yeah. solution there's a whole series uh, of, of starch solution and there's john a, whole, a mcdougall okay he's a he's a doctor uh there are other doctors uh, another one named esselton who was associated with the cleveland clinic diet where uh, he put people on strict vegetarian plant-based whole plant food yeah. as close to the natural as you can get and uh he did a whole study where he reversed a lot of uh, uh, limited and reversed heart disease and other kinds of things and reversed a lot of the effects of that with uh, a whole bunch of people who couldn't be treated surgically anymore. Yeah. Uh, and uh, so there are a number of people and another one is a uh, Dr. Uh, Tom Campbell and they're all sort of uh, uh, people who flowed out of this China study uh, basis uh, and have gone to whole plant based uh, uh, diets, which is so beyond just being a vegetarian. Vegetarian, there are people who uh, say will have fish or have eggs or have other kind of things. Uh, but one of the things I used to have, by the way, was uh, and I loved Impossible Burgers, some of the faux burgers, and some of them are really getting to be quite good and good substitutes, and there are lots of terrific faux cheeses out there and they but they're all filled with oils and i have to tell you the last four or five weeks that i cut out all those oils i'm walking up and down stairs without holding on i mean tremendous difference and I is, is that the main is that the main difference cutting out oils yeah for me it was yeah. because i had pretty yeah. much uh, uh followed a vegetarian diet but i had plenty of those kinds of things and i was right. eating these as i say these uh uh, faux uh, uh, meat and cheese products. Yeah, Impossible Burger, all right. that, yeah. yeah. All of which makes me cringe. I, I want a good, juicy, sloppy hamburger with bacon. cheddar cheese on and bacon. top. And, and bacon. And, and bacon, absolutely. And don't, don't forget, the, are, don't forget to slather on the mayo and the special sauce. Oh, thank you. Now you're talking. Now mm -hmm. you're talking. Well, let me ask you this. Given your progression from vegetarian to vegan to now, what do we call it? Plant days, whole plant, whole plant, mm -hmm. whole plant. If it, I wanted, I'm the only, the only diet I've ever been on is, you know, the basically cut calories. Kind yeah, of seafood thing. diet. You see, you eat it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the diet. That's the one. Um, how hard do you think it would be for me to go right to what you're doing and just cut out, oils and and whatever it is because whole plant sounds difficult it, it depends on your motivation okay pure and simple okay um 
really, and uh, whether it be uh, the uh, Engine 2 Diet, which is Rip Esselstyn, who's the son of uh, the, the one who did the Cleveland uh, Clinic Diet, or whether it be the uh, Tom Campbell uh, Diet, or whether it be McDougal, which are all very similar. Yeah, um, okay. Any one of those, they do have transition periods. And they do talk about people who fall off the wagon and how not to beat yourself up on it. And, yeah. and uh, most of them give you a, a two-week plan. Yeah. Uh, but one of the things that may happen is if you really stick to it for two weeks and you begin to feel some of the benefits before you find out that maybe you're getting pulled off some medications you are, which would be a further reason for you to stay on it. Some, right. You might get caught up in it and decide that, yeah, we're going to do this. Uh, some of the books even have, uh, for younger people, uh, how to help your kids transition. Because remember, you've been feeding them McDonald's every, and French fries and, and all that <laughs> stuff since they've been born. And this is the stuff that you like, too. So yeah. if, if you uh, start with it and you get some of the benefits for it, you may be more motivated to do it. If you fall off the wagon... They talk about, you know, getting back. It's probably not going to be easy for most people. But if you get the motivation, if you start, as I say, getting off some of your medications, if your joints don't hurt as much anymore. And as I say, even when I became a vegan, uh, I had a lot of small bits of improvements here and there. This has been the most dramatic. So this is why it's made, made, helped me go over the divide. Not, yeah. Is it for everybody? It could be, it should be. Is it? No. Uh, it's it's yeah. it's a difficult path. But as I say, if you get some of the benefits out of it, uh, then, you know, people are quitting smoking all the time. They quit drugs. Food yeah. is a drug. All the stuff that's in there that just it's your your that causes you to want to get the stuff. We all have read about, uh, you know, the marketing departments and the food companies that throw stuff in there that just sure. sort of give you a, a sense of uh Hey, I drugs. I walk down I walk down through the village and I smell I smell grease coming from all these fast food mm -hmm. restaurants and I'm 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 in thrall, you know. Yeah. <laughs> well, listen, I'm glad it's working for you and it is working. You do look great. And by the by uh, the way, some of the things I really look forward to is uh, every time uh, we get together uh, uh, for lunch and you bring up something from your garden. Uh, so. Uh, I'm now eating uh, um, asparagus and zucchini, which I never had before, and I'm really? really and I'm enjoying it, and I look forward yeah. to it. So, yeah. So, well, I so, might not be too far away. I love asparagus and zucchini and whole plants in general. So yeah, but you like it's you like like it slathered in butter. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Art, thanks for the update on your uh, diet uh, journey. It's great, and uh, I hope a lot of people try it. You never know. It might work for you. And my invitation to anybody is that if you try it and you're almost there and you want to ask some questions about how I was able to do something, feel free to contact me and I'll share my experiences. And hopefully it'll be for you. If it's not, you know, it's not for a lot of people. It's a, it's a yeah. transition. For more on Celebrating Act 2, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube. And tell your friends, Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.